Scary Airy, all new title debut at the Big Apple Comic Con, June 7th and 8th. Meet creator Samuel Vera, who'll be signing copies of Scary Airy. See you there, June 7th and 8th, BigAppleCon.com. You are watching Catch the Craze TV. I'm so crazy, you so crazy. But it never gets old. Like I was telling you, as soon as you walked in, it was like, it's like the first time. It's always like it's the first time over here. It's cool. You know? I hear you. I hear you. What is your project about? It is called Street Journal. Go for it. Oh, uh, basically, what the story is about is it's about a kid named Tyree who is trying to get out of an environment of abuse and start a new, new life for himself through his story. Okay. Uh, who does the artwork and who does the uh, story? Annabelle does the artwork and me and George wrote the story too. And this is the first issue? Yes. Well, this is the behind the book. It's kind of introduction to the first issue. Like the ash paper? Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, let's see, how many issues do you plan on doing? It's a six book run. And, um, we eventually want to release it as a trade. Put together a trade. Great, great. Is this the only project you plan on doing? Do you have future projects in the works right now? Well, actually, George is working on a future project called Wonder Duck that he's kind of getting together for a younger crowd. Um, we have another story called Ella and that we're basically um, working on. But at the moment, we're really launching this as kind of our fleet title. Neva has a couple of stories that I'm sure he's going to talk about. I don't have any well, I'm like so ashamed of being ready for it. Usually I'm yet. the one that's stuff in the works that have, like, I definitely want to get out sometime in the near future. Uh, let's talk a little bit about you guys uh, as individuals. Um, how did you guys, I'm going to start with George, how did you guys get started? What, I mean, what were your influences? Uh, right, well, I've always, I've always liked comics. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, I was reading Marvel when I was little. I love Spider-Man. Um, but I didn't really get into the whole, and I, and I always, and I always did comic books. Like I always did my own little, you know, I would take in a half, I had some paper hold and half and draw. But I didn't really discover, you know, the convention circuit and all that stuff until like I got down with Crazy Comics. And me and Sam met back in like 2002, and, no, 2000. And that's really where, like, all right, now I'm using 11 by 17 sheets of paper, and now I'm, you know, now all oh, the script has to have panel, the screen, you know, and all that stuff. That's where it all kind of began. And now this is where it's gone. Now, now I've taken more of a writer role, more than an artist. I kind of left the art behind and focused more on writing. I actually also worked with Crazy Comics, so I met um, Sam through George. And me and George had met through a screenwriting class. And I basically showed him the story. He came in initially, kind of edited it, and he did such a great job writing class that we just began to write it together, really. And from there, he kind of been sharpening my mistakes. <laughs> OK, that's what it's all about, man. Learning, learning. It's amazing. I can't believe that we've actually come this far, that you're here, that I'm here. This is incredible. And Annabelle, you want to answer this question? Um, actually, I was a painter. I started out just watching Bob Ross, the guy with the app for Channel 13. Yeah, yeah. Is that guy? Your own little girl. Happy little 
tree. Happy little tree. He, he actually, you know, got me started in art. And I didn't actually get into the comments until like years later. Man, there's a guy in his home right now. But anyway, I just I got distracted. Anything to get distracted anyway, and get off track. But uh, yeah, then I got into comments in high school. And then I met these guys at a convention about three years ago. You know, I also worked on Sam, creating comments and stuff. So, you know, I'm doing what I love to do. This is something I definitely always do. I feel blessed to be doing it. Yeah, get off, get off. I hear you, I hear you. There's going to be a website up in the works now. Yes, we're actually going to launch the website. George actually is more for um, setting that up. So he could kind of expand on that a little more, the trailer and everything. Well, we, um, we decided not to make it streetjournal.com because of the future projects that we have. You know, so we decided to give it the name of the company, which will be a name. <laughs> and we're gonna go from there, but um, but the website will be packed with like, you know, we're gonna do like a little trailer of the street journal, just like a little preview of what the person is gonna be about, and it's gonna have character bios, it's gonna have bios about us, it's gonna have convention pictures, you know, it's gonna be a full out, you know, interactive website with future titles like you know the one that yellow and the future projects that. Should be out in the next few months. Great, you're gonna keep us posted, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Great, and this is uh, Michelle St. Martin for Cash and Play the Heart. Yeah. <laughs>